Hello, my name is Loida. Welcome to this acrylic pouring video series where you will learn how to make your first acrylic pour painting for under $10. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about the materials that you will need. You will get these items from your do dollar store just because they are less expensive than if you go to Michael's or any other craft store. Plus, you are barely starting, you are barely uh, trying acrylic pouring if you're a beginner, and you don't want to waste a ton of money on supplies that are, that are more expensive in case your painting doesn't turn out as expected. So let's start with some cheap items just so you can start trying acrylic pour painting so that you can start learning how to mix your paints and how to pour them onto your canvas. So that is the reason we are using cheap material just so that we can get started and start trying acrylic pouring without wasting a ton of money. So let's talk about what you will need. First of all, you will need a canvas. This is where you will be pouring your paints and sometimes you can get bigger canvases at Dollar Tree. This time I was only able to find a five by seven inch, but in the past, I've been able to find eight by 10. So just grab whichever you want, whichever is available to you. Um, you can even grab a few of these instead of just one, if you want to give acrylic pouring a, a, a several tries. So canvas, at least one of these, you will need also glue. Um, we will be using the glue as our pouring medium because Dollar Tree doesn't really carry a pouring medium, so those are a little bit more expensive, but we will be using this and mixing it with our paints and a little bit of water to get the right consistency, and this will work great. This is the brand that I found. It's Aline's Original Tacky Glue. Um, if you can't find this at the dollar store, Elmer's Glue works fine any other type of uh, glue, um, you know, just like kids glue, I think most of those would work fine. But um, I haven't tried all of the dollar store brands of glues. This is the one that I've tried an Elmer's glue. So um, just, you know, grab whatever's available and give it a try. You know, if that doesn't work, you can try a different type of glue and you've just wasted $1. So that's the glue that you'll need. You will need obviously some cups where you will be mixing your uh, glue with your paints. So grab some plastic cups, grab some stirring sticks. You will need these to mix your paints. Um, and then you will need your paints. I want you to grab three colors. One of those colors will be white. So. This is a new brand that Dollar Tree is carrying um, right now. In the past, they didn't really have a huge range of colors, but, but because acrylic pouring is on the trend, then they started including a lot more acrylic paints in a different variety of shades. So this is what I want you to do. Uh, one of those colors needs to be white. Why? Because white will give some brightness to your paints. And I always like to include some white in my paintings. Um, I don't recommend starting with black because black can give you some gray colors depending on what you mix it with or it can turn your painting very dark. So let's leave the black for later for when you have more experience. For now, start with white. You can't really mess uh, your painting by using white. And then I want you to get two other colors that kind of fit or are very close together in this color wheel. So in that color wheel that you just saw, you can see that some colors are closer to each other and some are very far apart. Some are uh, across each other rather than being next to each other. So I want you to get two colors that are close to each other rather than being on opposite ends. So for this um, purpose of this video, for this tutorial, I chose, I don't know how to say that name, Fethalo Blue. 
I think that's how you say it, and light green. You can choose whatever colors you want. This is your painting. Just make sure that you follow these instructions um, so that you can get the brightest colors for your painting and that you don't get those um, muddy colors. So those are like the basic, basic things that you need. So here's $3, $1 for each item, $4, five, six, and seven. Now there's one more thing that you'll need and some extras that are optional items. So you'll also need something to cover your surface area, wherever it is that you are going to be working on because your painting will drip some paint and you don't want to get that on your countertop or your table or where, wherever it is that you're working on. So you need something to cover that surface area. It can be either uh, an aluminum pen from Dollar Tree. Just make sure that your painting is, or that your aluminum pen is big enough to fit your canvas inside and still have some room on the sides so that when, when the paint drips, that pan can catch the paint and it's not just going on your counters. So that's one option. You can get an aluminum pan, you can get a plastic pan, you can get um, a plastic table cover, which you can also find for $1 at the dollar store. Or if you don't wanna purchase that, you can just use your dollar store shopping plastic bag that they give you when you purchase your items and then just just use this you can um, use it as it is okay that's big enough for this canvas or if you have a bigger canvas and you need a bigger plastic paper then just cut this paper all around and you can open it up and it'll cover a bigger surface so there you have it um, you don't really need to buy a plastic cover that's why I didn't really mention it in in these items but you do need something to cover your surface so choose whatever option you want if you do decide to purchase an aluminum pan or a plastic cover a plastic table cover then that will be an additional one dollar so so far we have one two three four five six seven eight dollars you have a lot of paint and you could certainly do more paintings with that. Um, you can get more tacky glue uh, so that you can kind of um, have enough for these paints. Um, so you could get another extra one of these and another one of these and that would still be uh, $10. Now here are some additional items. These are optional. You don't need them. But some people don't like to get their hands dirty. I don't really mind because it's just acrylic paint. You can wash it off as soon as you're done. So there's really not a big deal. You don't really need to have gloves. So these are just optional if you want to. Um, the Mod Podge, uh, usually, you know, when you, you do a painting, you want to cover it with some varnish just to make those colors pop and make your painting look vibrant and to protect your acrylic paint. However, at Dollar Tree, you won't be able to find a varnish, but I was able to find Mod Podge, um, which is a water-based sealer and it is a gl the glossy kind. So I decided to buy this so I can show you what it would do to your painting in case you wanted to use this as well. And to apply this, I decided to just use some of these uh, sponge brushes and they're also from the dollar store. So there's a couple different combinations here that you can do and you can still get your kit, your acrylic pouring kit for under $10. Use this, 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 your paints, your glue, your Mod Podge and your brushes. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. And if you want to buy a plastic cover, that'll be $10. If not, 
just use your grocery bag. And there you have it. You have a kit for under $10, including some extra items that you don't really need. So those are your options. And now let's get started with our pour painting technique.